Most people have heard the numerous stories of police ticketing people for going to church, despite the home imprisonment orders dominating the West. Most of these involve Protestant religious gatherings that are often filled to capacity, and in the U.S. at least they're getting most of the media coverage. Today I'm going to focus on a story out of what used to be the heart of Catholicism, Italy, where the police in true Antichrist fashion decided to not only interrupt a Mass, but attempted to bully the priest in what looks like the middle of the consecration of the Eucharist. As you'll see, he wasn't having any of it. Let's get into this. First, here's the footage of the event for your perusal. Now what's interesting here is that if you were able to hear what he saw, what he was saying, and of course we can speak his language, you would know that he was saying that go ahead and find me, I'll pay the fine. When they, when he was threatened with uh, having his entire congregation fined by the wonderful public servants there in uniform. Now you may be asking though why I am including this in an episode of End Times Watch. Simple. Because Catholic prophecy makes clear that in the final days, the Mass will be outlawed and the sacraments near impossible to get for the faithful. This prophecy goes back to ancient scripture, as many of them do, as seen in chapter 8, verse 11 of the book of Amos. Quote, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, and I will send forth a famine into the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. Of course, a real famine may be coming, as seen in the headlines about how, because of the current crisis, a food shortage is coming that will negatively affect a quarter of a billion people in 36 countries. That is, 250 million people around the world may not have food soon because of what's going on. But that's an unpopular opinion to air right now. And I'm not saying this is the end times per se, but this certainly looks like a dry run. What we have here in this example from Italy, and even in the cases of American law enforcement ticketing people for attending church services in their cars in parking lots, is a serious sign of that tyranny to come. And it should be taken with the utmost seriousness by the faithful. I fear this will just be brushed off by many as not being a big deal, but the state trying to impose itself even over the holy sacrifice of the Mass should be shocking to the conscience of the believer. To give you an idea of how shocking this is, I saw one secular leftist news source expressing shock at what they saw. These people don't share our beliefs either, and they were shocked. Police attempting to break up the Mass by force of law and the implicit threat of violence therein crosses most boundaries for people with any shred of decency left in them. And this is precisely what we've been warned about coming our way in the final days, so please take this threat seriously. But this isn't the only example of this overreach. On April 8th, LifeSite News reported on a similar story out of Spain, where the police shut down a rooftop Palm Sunday Mass. They showed up during the consecration of the Eucharist and would not permit the consecration to be concluded. The police hauled the priest off and dispersed the crowd, all in the name of the emergency. Interrupting the Mass is a serious offense, and historically has only rarely been done, even by secular authorities of the worst variety. Canon law has various norms for dealing with the interruption of the Mass, including the priest skipping much of the ceremony and going straight to the elevation for the consecration, and then consuming the host. But a priest cannot just stop the Mass. If he is unable to continue, another priest must finish the holy sacrifice for him. That's the quick, quick version of the issue of the interruption of the Mass, once what these days gets called the Liturgy of the Eucharist has begun. For more examples of that, there are plenty of canon law discussions online that you can find. I've got one linked in the, the, uh, comment, or in the 
sources blog linked in the description of this video. Mostly, though, I've talked about when bishops deny the sacraments to the faithful out of fear. Most of them have succumbed in some way to the present climate of fear that is gripping civilization. It was much more understandable as our current crisis was unfolding, but now, given all that we know, the fact that most bishops still have embraced the culture of fear is, frankly, mind-boggling. Prior to our current crisis, the only example I had was of when Pope Francis was alleged to have called one of the now dubia cardinals during Mass and interrupted the liturgy of the Eucharist to have a phone conversation. This would have been back in 2014 or 2015. All of those things are bad, but none of that is what we've been warned about, and I honestly suspect that the things we're seeing now are just a preview of what's to come later in our lives, like a trailer for a movie. Think about it this way. If the state will exercise this kind of power in the current crisis, just think about the ease of which they'll do the same in the coming crisis in the West. I say that because I do expect this crisis of the affliction to pass, and when it does, another crisis will come. I don't buy the stuff the TV scientists are saying about this thing being with us forever. It will pass, but our glorious leaders in the hierarchy went along with this madness. Now we have but few good priests standing up for the faithful. I have nothing but respect for the priests who dare to hear confessions now, knowing that m many have been given permission to end hearing confessions for their own safety. And I have nothing but respect for the priests who go right up to the line of obedience to the bishop, but will, s will still manage to get the Eucharist to as many faithful as possible. There are plenty of those stories out there as well. But when the state interrupts the mass like was shown in that clip, and when people just go along with it, or, or when they'll force a priest out during the Eucharistic rite, we are in a seriously bad place as Catholics. Our civilization is in a very bad place right now. But maybe I'm nuts for even implying that this is a sign of the times. What do you think? Am I making too big of a deal out of the mass being interrupted by the secular police? Let me know in the comments below. Please pray for the church. Your prayers are needed now more than ever. I'm Anthony Stein. Ave Maria.